Today we bring you the story of a high school football player who's kicking down barriers every time she kicks through the uprights, proving to everyone that maybe playing ball like a girl isn't such a bad thing after all, right? This is Jessica Stewart, a senior kicker for the high school football team here at Spring Lake, head coach Cody Mallory. Welcome to Fox 17. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. That playing ball like a girl line. I'm sure you've never heard that one before, huh? <laughs> heard it a few times now since uh, starting, but what, I like it. What are some of the phrases that, that have maybe gotten under your skin a little bit that you just are tired of hearing? Breaking glass ceilings. I'm kind of tired of hearing that one. <laughs> okay, well, good thing we hit both of them right yeah, off the bat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think your story is doing to help change that narrative? I think it's just inspiring people, like especially females, to I guess kind of break glass ceilings, but okay. <laughs> just to try new things and do things that you're scared about doing and just try it. Yeah. Well, you come from a soccer background, so kicking isn't, you know, a foreign feeling for you, but right. why did you want in your senior year to add football to your list of activities here at the school. I actually wasn't really thinking about doing it, but our athletic trainer, Jasmine here, was the one who told me about it and that Coach Mallory needed a kicker, and I figured I'd try it. When you were first approached about this, initial thoughts and reactions. You know, I told Jasmine, our, our trainer, that we were looking for a kicker yeah. and just asked her if there are any soccer players that she would suggest that I approach. She thought about it for a couple days and came back to me with, with Jessica's name. I just kind of let it sit till they finished up their spring season and then approached her um, over the summer just to see if she wanted to come out and give it a try. No commitments, just see, see how she liked it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now here we are. Kicking in tryouts is one thing, you know, obviously the nerves are there, but you're not wearing any pads, there's no helmet, there's no fans cheering in the stands. Kicking in a game is a whole different animal. Mm -hmm. When you got out there on the field for the first time, what was that moment like? I was so excited. We scored and I was like, oh my gosh, this is me. I'm supposed to go out there. And I just kind of ran out there and I didn't have like a enough time to think about it to like think about what I'm doing maybe that's a good thing yeah it was a good thing because I knew if I thought about it too much I was gonna get in my head and just the energy was just there was so much and everyone was so excited and all the boys on the field were like you got this you got this just kick it like you would always do and you'll be fine and I was just excited and mm -hmm. then it went through and I was ecstatic and everyone was so happy for me and definitely a different energy but I like the energy I wonder how that feels to, to know that you have that support behind you from all the guys on the sideline when you know in some cases I'm sure the reaction could be very different. Yeah I was a little nervous about that being the only girl yeah. but Coach Mallory kind of assured me that the boys were gonna take care of me and it was gonna be okay. After I did miss one they they were all very supportive and <laughs> just shake it off next one so it makes me feel a lot better and really boost my confidence. That's what makes football great like it's got a place for all different types of people you know you're not looking for a specific type of person to play and so when a person comes out and they can show that they do the job the, the guys get behind them and so. what have your soccer teammates said about this they're so excited I went to my soccer practice after one of my football practices and I had my helmet and they were like you're actually kicking I, was like, <laughs> I am I didn't really think that I was gonna make an impact but after the first game, I can see that I am. I had a lot of like young girls come up to me at the game or before the game or after the game and they said that they were there to watch me. And one of my uh, host teachers, she told me that her daughter is in eighth grade and she went to the game and when she came back, she was like, I'm playing football because she, I watched her do that. And she went and bought stuff to like practice and she no was like, way. it's because of you. That's that, gotta be the coolest feeling yeah, ever. Yeah, I am so happy about that. I really didn't think I was gonna make that big of a difference, but I'm really happy to know that I am. I guess you don't have to worry about looking for kickers in the future. Sounds <laughs> like you're in good hands. I might have a pipeline, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope people can take away from what you've been able to do here in your last year at school? I hope people just try new things. Do, I mean, I never would have seen myself here if I, like a freshman, never would have seen myself doing this, but I'm glad I am doing it and I have the opportunity to do it and I encourage other people just to try new things mm -hmm. and that it's okay if you fail every once in a while, it, it's okay and that people are gonna support you. It's so, so cool to see what she and the rest of the program are doing out there. And guess what? You can catch Jessica on the field on Friday. They're coming off back-to-back -back wins to start the season. The Spring Lake Lakers hosting Unity Christian in that one. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. Our Blitz crew 
will be there, of course, and they'll have all the scores and highlights later that night at 10.55 p.m.